As we have been reporting, Eunice Kennedy Shriver passed away earlier this morning. She was John F. Kennedy's younger sister and helped start the Special Olympics. She was 88 years old. Joining us now from Washington is Adam Clymer, author of Edward M. Kennedy, a biography. And on the phone from East Hampton, New York, Sally Quinn, reporter for the Washington Post and a Kennedy family friend. Good morning to you both. Hi. Morning, Harry. Sally, first talk about just what a remarkable woman this was. Well, she was uh, 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 incredibly um, energetic. I mean, she had, I mean, my husband remembers her from the, the years when the Kennedys were in the White House as having more energy than anybody he knew. Um, but she, she had a real, and I think it was part of her Catholic faith, she was very religious, and she had a real sense of doing service, which she passed on to her five children. She started Special Olympics, and she changed the way we see people who are disabled in this country. And I remember a friend telling me years ago that she had a Down syndrome child and, of course, put it in an institution, and everybody sort of nodded. That's what you did then. And, and the, the, the extraordinary suffering of so many of these children um, being institutionalized and their parents having to give up their children was something that was just accepted in those days. And she turned that around mm. and made everyone believe that each life has its own worth, which, um, you know, is a, is a very religious point of view, yeah. but also humanitarian. I mean, I have a son who is learning disabled and who wrote a book and, uh, this year about it and had a website, and his friends were saying, well, you know, um, you know, you're, people will always think of you as learning disabled if you do this. It's a big mistake. And he said, yes, but I am. Mm. And I think Eunice gave him the courage to do that. Yeah. I mean, she inspired so many people by, um, by taking the time to, to make sure that people understood that, that people who were cognitively challenged mm. had a life that was worth just as much as anyone else. Yeah. Adam, uh, in your book, you write about... Uh, uh uh, Joe Kennedy and his relationship uh, with his kids in your in your book about Ted, Teddy Kennedy and what did he say what did Joe Kennedy say about uh, Eunice well he said that if she'd been a man she'd have been a hell of a politician and she was certainly more interested in politics than the other girls and I think though Sally's right in terms of her contribution she accomplished something most politicians never even aspire to. She changed the way America faced a moral question, how it treated the mentally disabled. Uh, and she did it not just with the Special Olympics, although that's certainly well known nationally and internationally. She also pestered her brother, Jack, constantly mm -hmm. to support legislation, the first federal legislation, to put some money into research about mental retardation and into ways, better ways of treating the disabled. As her brother Ted said in a video just not long ago, she has the biggest heart of all. I had the opportunity to spend an afternoon with her at a Special Olympics event in Colorado 30 some years ago. And as you say, Sally, I mean, the energy of a person, I just never had seen anything before. And her enthusiasm was infectious. She made everyone around her understand that this was important, that this was, this was, this wasn't, this wasn't a trivial pursuit. This was, uh, this was what, what her life was about. Thank you both for taking the time to share some memories of Eunice Kennedy Shriver with us this morning, both. Thank you. Take Bye. care. You bet.